So I've just woke up. It's um, quarter past nine. And me and I are going to go to the gym. The reason I'm filming is because I feel like doing a daily vlog video. Um, not a daily vlog. A day in the life vlog. Because we haven't done that yet. Oh my god, I sound... <coughs> So morning -y. So I'm going to the gym for the first time in two weeks, I think. Since I got back from Mexico. P.S. Look, I've lost my tan already. Um, so I'm going back because I'm going away with Elle in a few weeks. And yeah, I need to get back into it. I used to go every single day. And I've just been so lazy and it's not good, it's not good, it's not good. Um, for the gym I wear all grey because I'm basic and um, grey is my favourite colour. No, I don't always wear all grey. This from Nike. My leggings are three quarter length from Primani. And these are Nike. I used to know what they were called. Nike. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up. But yeah, I am about to go to the gym and then you can follow me around for the rest of the day. I don't know if Elle's doing this today. So I don't know if we'll merge these videos or if it'll just be a my day in the life and then she'll do one one day. But we'll see. Look at my rabbit, she's just had an operation. She's so grumpy. Basically, we've had to put her hutch dolly in um, the house for a little while because she's had an operation. And she, oh, are you awake today? Coming this way, come on. She's not allowed to be in the cold. <gasps> hey, princess. How are you feeling? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Gonna come out. You're gonna come out. No. But honestly, before she had this operation, she was crazy. Like, if I'd have opened this gate, what are you doing? If I'd have opened this gate for like two seconds, she'd have been sprinted straight out. But she's a little bit grumpy with us because she can't have babies now. Come on. Come here. I love you, I'll see you soon. Here I am with the girl herself. Hello, everyone. Um, while we're here, we might as well ask Elle, we might as well put her on the spot. Are you going to film a daily vlog? Daily vlog? Why do I keep saying that? A day in the life? Yeah, of course I will. When are you doing, are you doing that soon so we can merge or are we going to do separate? Uh, I'll do it soon. I'm working today, so it's really been really boring. But, um, yeah, I'll try and do something when a little something that's like you know running errands as the americans like to say doing some bits when um i don't know I've what are you on about you made it sound like that's a good thing what do you mean like you're gonna film because you're doing stuff yeah so when are you doing that i don't know i need right. to check my diary all right all right all right, all right. Uh, leave her alone, everyone, leave her. <laughs> when you film walking into the gym, people just always look at you. This lighting is disgusting. I think we're going to have to call it a day filming now. You think I've turned the video on slow, mate? <laughs> think again. This is just how I want to work out for today. What's this girl doing then? <laughs> we can't be bothered. No, if you want to close to us. Feel free. <laughs> it's our favourite room in the gym because no one else comes in here really and it's small. Look at this sweet little Betty. Don't take time off the gym Yeah, we've had a few weeks off so we're struggling. 
Nice little easy session to get back into it. <laughs> Look at this happy little bunny. Oh, I'm sweaty. I bet you're thinking, why am I like in a room at the gym looking like that? Basically, we both work where there's a gym, so this is the staff room. Do I leave anything in my pigeonhole? Look at my little pigeonhole. Where's yours? Someone brings toothpaste, I'm a bit confused. Yeah. Um, Ellie. So yeah, home time. Got, that's my full name. <laughs> got a bit of a little sweat on. Got a bit of a little sweat on. Oh my god, I'm so dead. English. That was English. Let's get out of here. Just got back from the gym and now I'm gonna ruin it and I'm gonna have some toast. But the smell walking in and smelling tiger bread. Don't forget like anything with me. Obviously I'm gonna have some tiger bread with some marmite. If you love Mama, we can be friends. Me and Mama are besties. And look at this naughty girl. Tony! Hey. 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 What are you doing? You gonna have your medicine? You gonna have your medicine? It is impossible trying to give her this medicine. Let's see if she'll do it for the camera. Dolly, do you want this? Do you want it? Drink it. No. So this is actually a little bit gross, but I'm gonna like stay in my gym wear for a little while. I was gonna have a shower and stuff, but I feel like if I have a shower and get ready, then my day will just be so much longer. So I'm gonna run some errands and stuff. I've got to package up some stuff because I sell some clothes on Depop. If you guys know what, don't know what Depop is, it is, um, it's like a app that you can buy and sell. It's a bit like eBay, I guess, um, but it's mainly for like everything quite current. And um, yeah, so I've sold a couple of things and then I just packaged them up in pink bags because, you know, princess. And then I just send them off and I do actually keep my Depop quite up to date. I've been slacking a bit but I want to get back into it. So if you guys ever like any of the stuff that I have on my Instagram or any of my social media then follow my Depop which is Sydney Crouch. I'll link it down below and yeah you guys can get some of my stuff for cheaper than on websites and even if it's sold out there might be some stuff. That I have that you can have. So yeah, I'm gonna be going to the post office and then I think I'm gonna go to the shops with my nan. She wants to go to the shop, so I think I'll go with her. And then later I have laser hair removal, and I think I'm gonna ask if I'm allowed to vlog in there. I've this will be my first session. I've had a consultation and this will be my first session, so I haven't actually asked if I can vlog or anything, but um we'll see. I'll ask, or if not, I'll bring someone to film on the DL. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you anything else fun that I get up to. But so far, day in the life, not that exciting. Just for an example of stuff I've sold, this is a cute little crop top from Zara. And it says Lolita, and it's got lips on it, it's really cute. So I've sold that, and... And then this yellow mustardy festivaly. Well, I wore this to V Fest last year. And has some slits in it. Yeah, so that's so someone must be having a festival coming up. I'm so jealous. My God, I am all grey. So I'm wearing all grey, and look like what my nan's wearing. All grey, and we're going in my grey car. Oh, yeah. We look stupid, Nan. Who? 
We went, we're wearing all grey. We're both wearing all grey and we're going in an all grey car. OCD. So I've just got home and we went in Primark. And I actually didn't buy any clothes. I've bought some exciting products. So me and I have been saying for a while that we want to do just some things. A full face Primark makeup and see how it goes. So I got some bits. I got this bronze shadow and shade. They're all going to be sold, aren't they? With some colours that don't look too bad, to be fair. I haven't swatched any, but I thought, why not? Um, a brow emergency kit. They only have one shade, but, you know. Um, PS Pro Colour Corrector Primer. Even Skin Tone. Um, Instagirl Face Perfecting. I'm really interested if this works. Prime and anti shine balm. Because I will love if I can have anti shine balm. Um, people have been talking about these quite a bit, and I was really interested. I just wish there was better shades. They look like lip kits from Kylie Cosmetics, but they're called Get Lippy, and they're matte. And then you get a liner and a liquid lipstick. And this is like a burgundy plum. And it's called Girls World. And this one's called Flutter. Oh, that's a pretty name. But I can imagine this looking nothing like the colour on the box. Excuse my nails. <laughs> I need to get them done. Um, what else did we get? PS Pro HD Translucent Press Powder. Oh, that nearly just got broke. Uh, contour. I'm interested to see how these go. Contour pens. So there's a bronze, a shade, and a highlight. Interesting. Um, a sculpt and blush kit. This has a Saint Tropez bronze, sunset glow, and flamingo pink. So bronzer, highlight, and blush. And these I'm most excited about. These look new, like they're new to Primark. I've never seen them. And can we just talk about how cute this packaging is? It's like soft matte. And it's just really nice. And obviously it's got dirt on it because it's Primark. But um, I'm going to... So these are the colours. And there's only two. These two are shimmer. And these ones are matte. So I think they look really cute. So if they're good, that's such a bargain. These were like £4.50. And I'm obsessed with the packaging. Well done, Primark. And then there is the Cotton Candy Eyes, Lips and Face, which is a little bit bigger. And this was a £5. The only thing that I think looks disgusting is the lip gloss. But these two looked really cute. But we'll see. I don't think this looks as good as the other one. But I like the way this is a bit boxy. So that's cute. And then, <laughs> funny story, they have three shades of foundation. And they only had this in stock. And I feel like it's my closest shade. Because they had testers of the other two shades. And one was like porcelain white. Um, which is what I was going to actually get for L. And then mix this um, with it, uh, the light one for L. But they didn't have any. And then they have literally a chestnut one which is like this colour so I thought um, foundation not the best thing but I need I think I need to go to a bigger Primark and find the foundations for the PS Pro um, bronzing brick which looks cute this reminds me a bit of the Bobbi Brown shimmer brick thing um, a mascara I just picked up a random one there was three this I just picked it up, but I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's an eyeliner. I don't know what colour. I'm guessing it's black. These lip lipsticks are cute. They match the cotton candy stuff. Um, the colours seem to be nothing like the packaging. Um, nothing like the picture, though, because I swatched one. You can see it here. I've just smudged it a bit. Um, I got two of them, but they only come in three shades. 
and then a sharpener, a, con a concealer. One sec! Another shade of concealer. So one's are one's called ivory, one's called sand. Um, a liquid eyeliner. And just some face wax. So there are still a few bits missing. I've pretty much got enough for a full face. Um, but I'm going to go to a bigger Primark store ASAP and see if there's any better foundations because this ain't good. Buzzing! So I've just got changed, <laughs> but I've just got changed into more gym clothes because they're comfy. And I'm just about to leave the house and go and get laser. I'm going to ask if I can film in there, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it will like react or anything with the machines but i'm hoping um i can film um probably get my nan to film so i won't be literally like all up in my grill but yeah hopefully i can film a little bit just to show any of you guys that are interested in getting laser um what it's like what happens and i can't really give much feedback at the moment because i've not actually had it i've only had like a tester i'm getting my armpits done today and I'm excited. I'm not even nervous about the pain because I don't care. I don't care about stuff like pain. Can't hurt that bad, otherwise people wouldn't get it done with there. But I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. so i just had my laser and it's so quick i was like what you're done it took like 10 minutes um but i'm gonna quickly explain how laser works for people that aren't sure so basically laser hair removal is a um permanent hair removal but it doesn't work in one go so i've just had one session but depending on like your own hair growth and stuff like that will say how many sessions you'll need but they say average you'll need about six sessions um and you don't so you don't go and have a session and then i'm not planning to have another one next week so you, you have to wait for the cycle of the hair growth so um rough it's like they average it out on a person because it's different for everyone so she reckons i'll have to go back in three months which is crazy really so i've just had it done and then it's a bit gross but the hair under my armpits will shed so it'll basically fall out in the next one to two weeks and then i will not have any hair there for the next three months and then the hair should start to grow back again so when the hair starts to grow back again i have to go back and have laser again so basically you do that six times and then by the time you get to about the sixth time you should all the the laser should have killed all the hair follicles and all I don't really know all the technical words, but where the hair grows from, the I think it's a blood vessel, she said. Um, it's killed, so nothing else can grow through. So eventually, I'll have... So if it's three months each time... In about a year, I'll have no hair under my armpits, and I'll be hair free. And then I'm going to start on a... No, I'm going to start on another body part. Basically, you're not allowed to have a suntan. So, armpits is good because you don't really get tanned under there. But, obviously, I've just got back from holiday. So, I have to wait until my tan has gone to do any other body part. But then, I'm going away um, in a month. So, I have to wait till I'm completely non-tanned again. Uh, which will be, I say, around October, November. And then, that's when I can get any parts of my body done that have been exposed to the sun so that's probably when i'll start getting another part of my body done 
so yeah hopefully it works really well i'll keep you guys updated if you want to know if it works and stuff like that if any of you guys want to know where i get it done blah 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 just comment down below or message me on insta but yeah i'm excited it didn't even hurt that much it's a bit sore now but it's so quick it's just over in like two seconds it's crazy hmm. so carrying on with my day just about to go to the pet shop because my rabbit's a bit of an idiot and she is eating her bedding so i need to get her more food that she likes so i'm just gonna go and buy a big selection of food and then i've not really got much else planned for today so we'll see we'll see we'll see Finally had a shower. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I went to the gym and then I was just a bit of a slob. But I've had a shower now. I just need to wash my hair. And I just want to talk about this. I've spoke about it in my favourites video. The, vid the video with me and I done way back. I'll link it down below. This hair care. Hair care. It's moving therapy hair oil treatment. Girls, if you've got curly hair or wavy hair or frizzy hair or just anything but not anything but straight hair, this will be your best friend, your boyfriend, everything. It is a joke. Um, it looks like this, and you can get bigger pots, I think, online, but I get mine from Savers. It's one pound, and oh my god, it just makes brushing my hair and washing my hair so much easier, and. It just gives it a nice shine. I literally don't know what I'd do about this. I panic when I run out. So I buy it in bulk. I get like 10 bottles every time. I go to Savers and this bottle. Can you see it's like half empty. I've washed my hair like three times. And every time I wash my hair and it's damp, I use it after. And I've used this about three times. So it goes quite a long way. And it's luxurious and lightweight leave-in hair treatment, helps move and repair shine, controls frizz, leaving the hair feeling silky, soft and healthy looking. And honestly, it does all that for a pound. It's a joke! Okay, so it's getting a bit later in the day and I think I'm just going to sit down and watch telly. Um, as you can see, my days aren't that exciting unless I'm seeing Elle and we're filming or if I'm at work. I don't actually have work today which is a rare occasion. Um, so I'm gonna watch telly. I don't watch telly too much, but I've just remembered my favorite TV show is on record. So it's on my Sky Planner. So I'm gonna show you what that is and yeah, we can bond over it. So guys, if you didn't quite see that, I'm going to be watching Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry. If you guys haven't seen this, honestly guys. So this happens to be like my favourite TV show. It is, if you haven't seen it, let me quickly explain. So it's a guy called Tyler Henry. He lives in America and he's 20, I think he's 21. Um, so he's only a year older than me and he literally, I think he's the best person on earth. So he's a medium, if it doesn't make it obvious by the title. And if you're not sure what a medium is, basically he is able to connect with people once they have died. And also, in a way, I don't know if, oh, he's a clairvoyant. So he looks, he can um, like predict people's future. So when he goes to do readings of people, he's a Hollywood medium, so he just works with celebrities he um he's like do you want to know about do you want to connect with someone or do you want to know about your future and the future part just baffles me like how the hell can he predict someone's future that that's mad that's mad i don't know if i would want to know that's crazy but i'm so obsessed with this show guys if you've not seen it it's on e and you can get it on the app hey you um which is all like uh, american tv shows and it is the best thing ever. If you guys are into stuff like that, I honestly recommend watching it. I am, what is this light? I'm so gross by the way. I'm so sorry. I've gone this whole vlog with no makeup on. Let's get some, no, I just, you know when you just stop feeling makeup? Anyway, that's me going off track, going off track, yeah, yeah. So, if you guys are interested in stuff like mediums, this is the show for you. I've never, I don't think I've watched an episode where I haven't cried. 
is a joke. Like, I was a bit, I still am a little bit like, is it real? Can someone really speak, like, can he really basically have a conversation with someone that has is dead? But I would love, love, love with all my heart for it to be true because like a little bit of background information I lost my mum when I was young and then I recently lost my granddad and I was raised by my grandparents so I have lost two of the most important people in my life and for something like um, a medium to be real and to actually be able to connect with someone that has died is like a dream for me I would love to be able to find someone legit like that to do a reading that is literally a dream but i just feel like no one's as legit as him he's so legit and i feel like still a smidge of me feels like unless i have a reading with him a tiny smidge of me is like i don't believe it i can't believe it like it's mad guys watch it and get back to me tell me if you agree tell me if you agree i'm obsessed with him honestly it's <sighs> I need to see Tyler Henry. I need to see Tyler Henry. Guys, tell me if there's any mediums you know that are really good. I just don't know if I trust people that aren't like him. Oh, I'm talking so much. My name is Tyler Henry, and somehow I've become Hollywood's go-to medium. My method is really unique, because I never want to know who I'm going to read before I meet them. Nah, best show ever. I can't deal. If you take one thing from this vlog, take the fact that Tyler Henry is God and that you guys need to go watch it. Just got a delivery. Hi, Protein World. So, um, I occasionally use Protein World products and I'm going on holiday soon. So, I thought I'd try and get back into the swing of things. But I'm just so lazy. Before I went to Mexico, I was like doing so well and now I'm just doing so not well sydney we love you i love you too um so i wanted to try the popcorn but i already eat popcorn that's 99 calories so i just wanted to see if there was any difference i only got one bag of popcorn or did i get three i got two <laughs> um this porridge is the best thing ever if you like porridge this is great but i mix this with um some normal porridge just because the chocolate's quite overpowering another shaker do you know how many of these shakers i have like i didn't order it it just comes i was just get given them um pancake mix i hope this just doesn't taste like stupid protein stuff and it actually tastes like pancake. and then we have a slender bar in sort of caramel and then chocolate. 217 calories, that sounds like a lot. Maybe this stuff is bad for you. And then we have the syrup for the pancakes. Let me open this. So these are the bits I got. I just don't know how you can get syrup that's zero calories. Is that a joke? That must taste disgusting. I'm gonna have to try some. Obviously, it's got a seal. Oh my god, look how runny that is. Isn't syrup supposed to be thick? Anyway, I'll let you know how these taste if you're interested. But I've had the product before, love it so much. Love popcorn, so I don't see why I wouldn't like this. Is this salt? Salty sweet. Hmm. Uh, pancakes, fingers crossed. And these, I always eat bars like this, so I think they'll be fine. So yeah. So guys, I'm going to finish my day in the life vlog here i really hope that you enjoyed it and you have a little insight of what i kind of get up to and i think Elle is going to be doing her own one doorbell but if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and if you guys want a more realistic day in the life when i go back to uni then let me know but yeah, it's not that exciting, guys. But I hope you enjoyed following me around. I love vlogging. I love it. I love it. The doorbell was another parcel. But not for me, for my brother. Let's hope it's unisex.